Hello, my besties. We're starting off this vlog on a Friday. It's like one o'clock right now. I'm about to head out and run some errands. I have to drop off some stuff at the post office. And then I also want to stop at Trader Joe's as well as Target. I need to get a few things for Cheeto. He needs like more wet food and like a few things that we need around the apartment. Trader Joe's, we need a few things like meat and stuff, veggies, um, just like a few things. I really don't wanna go like over the weekend and I really don't wanna go on like a Monday. I feel like a Friday is like a good day to go to the grocery store. I don't know, I feel like it's just like a random day to like go to the store and like get groceries. I don't know, I just like really hate when Trader Joe's is busy because everyone is like on top of each other and I feel like I can never get everything that I want. There's just like so many people. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. This is my running errands outfit, very, Comfy and cozy. This sweater is from Urban Outfitters. I just recently got it like last week. And then these pants are also from Urban Outfitters. They're really cute. They kind of like cross at the waist. I have on my Ugg Tasman slippers and then my new bag from Princess Polly that I showed in my last vlog. So cute, I'm obsessed with it. And then I also just got in this clip from MEJ. I also want to go through my bathroom stuff like under the sink. I need to get rid of so much stuff. So like there's some stuff that I want to do around the apartment, but I figured that I would go and do my errands first because apparently we're supposed to get like a rain storm. So I want to go out before that happens. But just thought I would start off this little weekend vlog. Make sure you're subscribed and all of that good stuff and I hope you enjoy. So I just got home. Also, I am such an idiot. I totally forgot that today was a holiday. It's Veterans Day today. So everyone and their mother was out and about today. Target was so crowded. Um, Trader Joe's was really crowded. And just like the roads in general, there was so much traffic. I was like, what is going on? And then I was like, oh, it's Veterans Day. And then also couldn't even go to the post office because they were closed. I'm sweating. I'm in my sweater and it's like, literally so hot in here i didn't realize like how warm it was outside it's like 72 ish i think and it's also humid so i'm dying i'm probably gonna take this off after i show you what i got at the store also a side note everyone at trader joe's is always so nice like the cashier that i had today she was so cute she was so nice she's like oh my god you look so cute she's like i love your little sweater we were just like having such a nice conversation she was so nice but every time i go to trader joe's i always have the greatest experience like everyone there is always so nice and i feel like at any other grocery store you go to that's like never the case that's just what i've noticed and i feel like everyone else says the same thing yeah so if you work at trader joe's props to you because i know like how grumpy some people can be and all the workers at trader joe's are always so helpful and nice but this is an overview of everything i got i literally said that we needed a few things and i ended up getting like almost a full grocery shopping so i'll start over here with like snacks and stuff i picked up these fig and olive crisps i've been seeing these everywhere and so many youtubers i watch like caitlin nolan and a few other people have talked about these and said that they were really good so i'm excited to try those and then i also picked up more of these dark chocolate covered little mini pretzels those are my absolute favorite to have for like a little sweet snack. Literally cures my sweet tooth in seconds. Picked up more of my favorite granola. I get a lot of questions on my granola. People always think that I make it, but I don't. It's the almond butter granola from Trader Joe's. It's so good. If you ever see it, you need to pick it up. And then I got some more bread. I've been loving having this in the morning. Like this morning I had avocado, scrambled eggs, and toast. And this has been like my favorite bread to have toast with. I usually do the um when pigs fly bread oat and honey but i got this for us last week when we had like tomato soup and grilled cheese and i like love this bread it also reminds me of my childhood like little pb and j sandwiches and stuff so i picked up more of that i got these hold the cone ice cream cones those are our favorite i got some more parmesan cheese some milk 
heavy whipping cream to like mix in with the Chobani creamer that we use just like a little bit to make it more thick and like more like a cold foam since me and Zach are like really trying to stop going to Starbucks. So we're like trying to make our own Starbucks at home. So we got some of that. I picked up some more plain Greek yogurt for some veggies. I got butternut squash, some green beans. Um, I got some lemons, some garlic. I always debate on whether to get this peeled garlic or not and then today i was like you know what i just need to buy this because if you cook and like you use garlic you know how annoying it is to cut it up and just oh my god it's so annoying so i was like i need to get that because it's like such a time saver so i got that garlic i got a white onion a sweet onion some little potatoes and then i'm really excited about these juices i got this power c vitamin juice blend which looks really really yummy and then i also got this power seven green juice so i'm excited to try these i like really want to get more into my juices and just be more mindful of like vitamins and nutrients that i'm putting in my body if you've been watching my vlogs i've been taking juice shots like in the morning all the time now and then i got a cute little advent calendar i really wanted to have one of these because i always used to do these with my family growing up and i just feel like there's such a classic it's just like the milk chocolate little candies inside and this is like so thin the chocolates are probably like so small but i just thought that would be cute and fun to do especially for vlogmas since i am gonna do vlogmas and i have another anthropology advent calendar that i'm gonna do as well but this is such a classic so i needed to pick that up i also got a cute little flower arrangement i got some white roses and then these like little winter berries I thought that would be cute together on the TV stand. And then for me, I got some ground beef. I got some ground turkey, chicken sausage. These are our favorite. I love this flavor. The sweet apple one is really good. And then chicken tenders. So that is everything I got from Trader Joe's. I really did not expect to get all of this stuff, but you know, you can't help yourself in Trader Joe's. They always have so much good stuff. And yeah, so I'm gonna put all this away, clean up a bit, get myself situated. Oh, and they also had their cute little Christmas bags, which I thought was so cute. It's like little gingerbread houses. That like makes me so excited. Like you have no idea, but just had to show that because I thought they were so cute. Like your new toy do you like your new toy <laughs> i got him this new carrot thing from target it has catnip in it i think like at the bottom or something but he's been loving it which i'm really happy about because i feel like he's getting sick of all of his toys so i wanted to pick up him something new and then a bunch of cat food which you guys don't really care about but i'll sit down and do a haul of what i got at target and then a few other things that i got over the past few days I also picked up that candle that i just lit from mr myers i think the brand is called it was peppermint scented which was like a limited edition christmas scent and i put that by the sink and it smells really really good so i'm excited about that little candle and then i picked up two more things i needed some more gloves for like when I clean around the apartment and like the dishes and stuff because I hate doing dishes with like my bare hands. My hands get so, so dry. I feel like I'm always putting lotion on them. And also it's just like gross washing dirty dishes with your bare hands. So I had to pick up some 
gloves and then I also just picked up some body wash. This one is from Dove. It's the Restoring Coconut and Cocoa Butters. I didn't even smell it, but it smells really good. I love washing my legs with Dove body wash because it lathers so well. It's cheaper than like shaving cream. I never shave my legs with like shaving cream or anything like that. I always use body wash. If you need something to shave your legs with, I highly suggest just like getting a Dove body wash. So that is all that I got from Target. And then I got a few things in the mail from Revolve and then a couple PR items, which I figured that I would just show you guys. So I got this water bottle from Simple Modern and it's basically the same exact shape as like the Stanley tumblers, but I actually love this water bottle. Like it's so cute and i love the color of it as well i'm pretty sure that they have these at target this is what it looks like super cute it's like basically the same thing as the stanley but i love the color of this like the neutral beige and then what i also love is that the straw holder thing is like silicone so it like can't drip out any water so it's 40 ounces it's called the trek tumbler i will link it down below if you want to try it out and it also says 10 percent profit given away to charity which is really nice and then i got some stuff from pharmacy first they sent me this honey haven little gift set it comes with the honey halo moisturizer the honey lotion plus mask and then the honeymoon glow night serum so that's really cute i love the moisturizer i've used it before and it's really really good i've never tried the moon glow serum though or this mask and you all know i love me a good face mask so i'm excited to try that i also think these are such a good like christmas gift if someone you know loves like skincare i feel like skincare gift sets are always like such a good idea and speaking of christmas gifts i mentioned this in my last vlog but i made a 2022 holiday gift guide that i will be linking in my videos from now until christmas day make sure you browse that little list if you're having trouble figuring out what to get people i know that i'm going to be using it for reference to buy stuff for my family and like zach and stuff so make sure you check that out and then they also sent me a few more products which i'm so excited about this is the whipped greens oil-free foaming cleanser feeling good plumping serum vitamin c serum it says it's waterless and then this retinol serum i use this every single night i love this stuff and it's for like fighting wrinkles and everything like that i was always told to start with products like this in my 20s so i'm like so obsessed with like stuff like this and like eye creams and everything like that so i really love this product and the last thing they sent me was this niacinamide night mask again haven't tried this so excited about that and that was everything that pharmacy sent me and then i got a few things from revolve that i ordered myself so for starters i'm so excited about these i got the mumu i think they're called christmas pajamas i got the ones that are green and white and then they also have red and white but i don't know i was like more drawn to the green so i'm so excited about these it's just a long sleeve top with the pants so oh my gosh they're gonna be so cute especially for vlogmas and then i got this mej clip that i showed earlier i just had it in my hair can you stop i got you your own toys go play with your toys um i'm pretty sure this one is the bigger version i'm pretty sure it's called like the big effing clip or something because obviously i have so much hair and honestly this is like not even big to me this is like kind of small but i just really loved the brown color of this clip and i also love the shape of mej clips i think they're so so cute so i just got this and i'm gonna put it back in my hair so it's out of my face and then the last thing that i got from revolve was a big blanket from barefoot dreams i've always wanted to purchase one of their blankets because again i always hear so many people rave about them and how they're like the comfiest blankets in the world so i'm really excited about this i'm not sure if i want to put it on the couch or at the end of our bed but I'm really excited about it. That is everything I got. And I'm gonna put all this stuff away because it's like giving me anxiety. There's so many bags of just random stuff around the apartment and I need to clean it and put it away because I just hate when there's like so much clutter. And also 
the time change is really really getting to me like it's literally four o'clock and it's so dark out like obviously the lighting in here is getting dark but i've been trying to wake up earlier because of the whole time change thing like i want as much sunlight as i can possibly get but the other problem is is that cheeto continuously wakes me up through the night like two to three different times and i have such trouble falling back to sleep like i will eventually go back to sleep but it takes me like a good hour to like fall back asleep after i've been sleeping like deep in my rem sleep so i'm like so tired when i wake up at like six and i've been getting up at like 7 7 30 which is like not a big deal but i really want to get as much sunlight as i can obviously and like wake up at six i'm like trying to figure out what to do with cheeto in the middle of the night because he just drives me up a wall and i'm like so tired when i wake up in the morning because i just my sleep has just not been great so i need to figure something out about that but i'm gonna put all this stuff away it's so dark in here oh my gosh i apologize i should have put a light on before i showed you everything so i'm gonna go through all of my bathroom stuff just like everything under the cabinets that i don't use and i organized this a little bit ago but obviously it's kind of a mess again and i just want to go through everything and like make a bag for my family of like stuff that i don't use because i have so much stuff and like duplicates of a lot of things that I get sent and so instead of me having it I figured that I would just like give it away to people who could actually use it because I have way too much stuff I hate doing this but I need to do it and I know I'll feel so much better after I do and I'm like embarrassed to even show under our sink honestly it's such a mess like this side is kind of my side and then that's all Zach stuff, but now it's just kind of really disorganized. So I'm gonna go through everything, make a bag of stuff that I wanna give away as well as just get rid of stuff that's old and that I don't use. I've been like purging a bunch of my stuff. I went through my entire closet yesterday, put a lot of stuff on Poshmark. So if you wanna check that out, that's always linked in my videos, but I got rid of a lot of clothes. I donated a lot of clothes, so I've just been like kind of getting rid of a ton of stuff because I feel like our apartment is getting so cluttered and it's stressing me out like I was saying earlier. I just like need to sit down and like get rid of a bunch of stuff. So this is not my favorite thing to do, but I know that I'll feel so much better after I get it done. Just finished I feel like it doesn't look that much different like I have so much stuff down here I got rid of a lot of stuff threw out a lot of stuff reorganized everything I personally think it looks much better and I know where everything is and not everything is just like thrown in there so I'm glad that that's done this was the bag that I made of a bunch of stuff that I'm gonna give away just a bunch of stuff that I don't need anymore or I probably won't use. So I'm gonna bring that to my mom's at some point. Probably when we have Thanksgiving, everyone will like go through it since everyone will be at my house or at my mom's house. So that's done. And then I'm so excited because I came across these moon juice products that i totally forgot i had this is called pearl and basically you can put it in like your smoothies and stuff it's supposed to help hair skin and nails so definitely want to put that with like my chia seeds and everything so i remember to put that in my smoothies and then these are hair vitamins they're called super hair and i was actually looking for hair vitamins the other day on like amazon specifically like b6 or something because believe it or not i have multiple gray hair strands and i'm pretty sure it's genetic because my nana got gray hair when she was really young my mom did my auntie did so i'm next to start the whole like gray hair process and it's not really bad but like i've noticed like in the back like right here i have a few strands that are like literally white i was plucking them out the other day and i was like zach can you help me and he found like literally 10 more hairs and i was like this is not what i want to be dealing with right now at 23 years old but i mean i can't really do anything but i was looking up that vitamin b6 and like the whole like b6 complex is really good for 
your hair so i want to start taking those see if i notice a difference because i really do not want to have gray hair at 23 years old i don't know like the other day i was pulling out so many i was like this cannot be real but luckily i have so much hair that like it's not noticeable really i feel like it would only be noticeable if you were like looking in my hair definitely my hairdresser has probably noticed it but like do any of you struggle with that i remember i found my first gray hair at 17 and i was like what the hell is going on i mean that's my genetics i guess i can't really do anything about it hopefully the vitamins will help a little bit i don't know but glad that all of that cleaning is finally done i definitely feel much much better i'm gonna take a bath right now i just feel like relaxing and unwinding i have this little bath tray that's from target and then i have my little melon and goats candle i'm also gonna start a new book this one is called the body keeps the score i've had this book for like a couple years now there's so many good reviews on it on amazon and i'm pretty sure that's why i got it it's just about like trauma your brain healing all of that stuff which i honestly find super super interesting this book is super long though and has so many words and like the text is really small so it's probably gonna take me a while to like actually thoroughly read that through but i really want to start it so i brought that out so i love taking baths especially after a long week like i was saying earlier i like can't sleep because of cheeto so i'm just like so tired and exhausted so a bath right now would be so so helpful i'm also going to use this bath bomb too my friend christina gave me this as part of my birthday gift over the summer so I'm excited to try this. It's called Sugar Cookie. How freaking cute are these pajamas? I'm like so obsessed with them. They're so comfy too. I was kind of figuring that they wouldn't be comfortable and like really soft, but they're actually like super comfortable. Oh my gosh, I'm so obsessed. I kind of want to get the red now too. I'm obsessed with these. I will link them down below for you if you want to get them yourself and twin with me. They give all the Christmas vibes that you could ever want. But I'm going to cleanse my face right now and do some skincare. I'm not going to film it because I feel like I get way too repetitive with my skincare sometimes. So I'm going to do that really quickly. But just wanted to show you my pajamas because I'm so obsessed. Like, they're so freaking cute. So I just put on all of my normal skincare that i usually do every single night and i'm gonna try out the pharmacy niacinamide mask that i got i think you just like leave it on all night apply a thin layer nightly to cleanse skin as the last step in your routine yeah so i think it's kind of like a jet lag mask type of deal i'm just gonna take some off from the cover it says a thin layer so i guess that's good Already, this feels like so nice on my skin as I'm like rubbing it in. My skin feels like super smooth. We'll have to see what my face looks like in the morning. But Zach called me when I was in the bath and he was like, do you want to go and get dinner? And I was like, I'm literally in the bathtub right now. Like after I do my skincare, I'm in the bath. Like whatever I'm doing, I'm not leaving the house afterwards. So I was like, we should do a little date night like tomorrow night and so i think that's what we're gonna do instead that's my skincare for the night just put the christmas tree on zach is on his way home we'll probably watch some netflix we've been watching the new season of manifest i think we're literally already on the last episode but i also still haven't decorated the tree the ornaments are literally in that bag i need to just do it i've just been lazy it looks so cozy in here the flower arrangement I got is actually really, really cute. I kind of wish I made the roses a little bit longer. I feel like I cut them too short, but I thought that was like a really cute Christmassy combination. So loving the Christmas decor right now. So just gonna wait for Zach to get home. I'm like so exhausted. It feels like it's 10 o'clock. That's what I also hate about the time change is like it feels so late. But also it's like kind of a good thing because I really want to go to bed early at like 9, 9.30ish every single night. Especially since Cheetos like always waking me up. And I really want to get up earlier. So going to bed at like 9, 9.30 would just be like ideal for now at least. But 
yeah i love my pajamas like i can't get over them they're so freaking cute Ugh, i love them vlog happy saturday it's 10 in the morning right now i have just been having myself a pretty slow morning um i was just editing for a little bit for tomorrow's video so that's what i've been doing i had my breakfast this morning some chai and i was just watching gilmore girls for a little bit i watched two episodes i think i'm like really bad at watching that right now i also feel like i'm not as into it as i was but also I'm on season three and I'm at the part where Dean and Rory just broke up and she's, I think her and Jess are together or something. So now I'm like kind of getting back into it. That's what I did this morning. I'm probably gonna take a shower soon since it's already 10 o'clock, but it was like such a cozy morning this morning. It was raining for the longest time and it actually just cleared up like 30 minutes ago it's like so sunny out right now and it's supposed to be a really nice day um like the 70s like i was saying yesterday the weather is just so crazy just wanted to say good morning i'm gonna take a shower i feel like my skin is super hydrated and feels very glowy or looks very glowy rather from that niacinamide mask but i could just be imagining it but my skin feels really nice and smooth. My PJs were so comfy to sleep in. Yeah, so I had a cozy little morning. I'm gonna take a shower and get started with my day. Cheeto's just living his best life. He looks so cozy. Whenever I look at him sleeping, I always just think about like how sad it was for him to sleep outside. Um, if you're new to my channel, he used to be a stray cat and we rescued him from someone that took him in. And it just makes me like so sad to think like of him just being alone and like not knowing what to eat. That's so sad. And like how many other animals there are outside. But I'm glad we saved you. Like he's the sweetest cat. Like, ugh, I love him so much. Just made our bed and I wanted to say that this blanket is the softest blanket I have ever used in my entire life. I think I'm gonna keep it on the bed for now. I just like the contrast between the brown and like everything else is white in here. But it's so freaking soft. It's actually humongous too and it's super stretchy and I'm obsessed with it. I'm probably gonna get my mom one for Christmas and I do have it on my holiday gift guide as well so if you know someone who is obsessed with like cozy stuff, I would definitely recommend getting them this blanket. Like it is on the pricier side, but if it's gonna last you and it's high quality, I always like to splurge on stuff that's gonna last me a long time. I'm obsessed with this blanket, so just wanted to point that out. I took my shower. I don't know if I wanna wear this because the weather, like I said, is like so weird. I'm just wearing a black long sleeve from Aritzia right now, and then these pants are from Urban Outfitters. Really cute, they're like little black cargo pants, and they have white 
stitching on them, which is really cute. I don't know what sneakers I'll wear. I wish that it was colder outside because I want to wear like winter clothes and not this right now. But Zach wants to go and pick up an electric guitar from, I think he saw it on Facebook Marketplace. I don't know if he actually bought it yet, but I think the place was like an hour away. So I don't know if we'll do that, but I'm like really hungry. I need to make a snack or something. I really want to try the juice I got from Trader Joe's. I'm going to try both of them right now because they both look really good to me. So I'm going to pour myself a little glass. Also, Zach, as you can tell, already did some damage on the juices. He said they were really good. So I think we're going to try this one first. It tastes so like fresh and there's like no added ingredients or anything which is really nice it's just orange juice pineapple juice mango lemon juice this is so good 10 out of 10 now i'm gonna try the power seven green juice and then this one is kale spinach green apple water cucumber celery lemon and ginger. I'm not the biggest fan of green juice, but I'm also not a fan of my greens and I really need to be better at having like spinach and stuff. I always used to put spinach in my smoothies because it's just like such a quick and easy way to get in some extra greens, but I haven't been loving smoothies lately. Like I'll have one once in a while, but I'm just like not in the mood and also I haven't bought spinach in such a long time, but let's try the green one. Okay, I definitely like the vitamin C one better. This one is good, but it's very vegetable-y, but it tastes healthy. Like I really wanna drink this like every single morning. That way I just like know I'm getting my greens. Yeah, I definitely could not drink like a full glass of that and be like, yeah, that's yummy. But it is good. It's just like not my drink of choice. Like I would only drink this to get in my greens, not for like enjoyment. But I really want to buy these like every time I go to Trader Joe's. I just think they're like good to keep in the fridge. Like I was saying, I'm just like obsessed with juice shots right now and stuff like that. So... If you see those at Trader Joe's, definitely grab them. So I had a little outfit change. I changed my shirt, left the pants, and then I put on my Nike Dunk Lows, and then I also have on my little hat. We're en route to pick up Zach's guitar in Millbury, which is like an hour away. I've never even heard of that town, but we're making a quick pit stop at Starbucks. I wanna get the toasted white hot chocolate because it's like my favorite Christmas drink. Are you gonna get anything? I'm not sure. I might, I might not. I might get the, uh, what I got last time. I forget what it's called. The, the ice sugar cookie latte. Yeah. Happy Sunday. I just took my shower for the day. I didn't wash my hair. I'm just gonna put in some dry shampoo. But last night we ended up going to dinner after we picked up the guitar. We ended up going to some place that was actually in Melbury in the same town that we picked up the guitar. I think it was called Calabria. It was an Italian restaurant. It was really, really good. It was so funny. We got there early. I think it was like 4.30. And there was like no one there. And then as we left, it was so packed. And the food was really good. I got four cheese, or no, three cheese ravioli. We got some Caesar salad, some bread. It was such a nice little dinner. I was like super full. And our waitress asked if we wanted dessert. And she brought over like a whole 
tray of all the desserts that they have and I felt so sick to my stomach like I was so full which is so weird because that's usually not like me I always have room for dessert but I just felt so full that I literally couldn't eat any dessert so we didn't get dessert sadly I really wanted to but I know I would have felt even more sick if I ate some that was last night I made the pumpkin pancakes from Trader Joe's this morning for breakfast which I haven't made those in such a long time I think it's been like a couple months and I used to make them like every single weekend and I just kind of forgot about them so I didn't make them but I had them for the first time in a while this morning with some fresh berries maple syrup it was really really yummy I also slept in a little bit this morning I woke up at like six ish to feed cheeto and then i went back to bed i was so exhausted like i feel like all the sleep that i've missed out on is just catching up to me i went back to bed and like stayed in bed until i think like nine which felt really really good because i was so tired and i definitely needed that i'm gonna do my morning regimen this morning i'm gonna put in some dry shampoo because i didn't wash my hair this is my favorite dry shampoo i've showed this in a vlog before but so many people influenced me to buy this and it's one of the best dry shampoos i've ever used and speaking of good dry shampoos i before i bought this i was like should i just buy a drugstore shampoo or should i like spend a little bit more money on a good one from sephora and i'm really glad that i didn't buy the drugstore shampoos because of the whole like recall situation with that um, ingredient in them, I forget what it's called, that can like cause cancer, which is extremely scary. Not that this is probably the most perfect thing to use for your hair, but I'm really glad that I didn't get like the Dove one or the Batiste one. So if you have any of those, definitely do your research. It's so scary, like how many products you use every single day just have horrible ingredients in them. I put on some lotion and body butter. This is like my favorite combo right now. This one I use like every single day. It's Jergens Hydrating Coconut. And then when I was cleaning out the under the sink the other day, I came across this Josie Moran Whipped Argan Oil Body Butter, which I really love. I put it on top of my moisturizer and my skin is super soft. So I've been loving that for like my body skincare. So I recently kind of switched out my skincare routine and I've just been using these three products for the morning. I have the vitamin C serum, vitamin B5 serum, and then this moisturizer with SPF in it. These are all from the Roche-Posay. And I don't know, I've just been like loving this entire combination for the morning. Do you, do you wanna come in or do you wanna stay out? This is like really good for hydration and my skin has been really really dry so i've been loving this i have some jazz playing on the tv that's been like my favorite thing in the morning is going on youtube and like finding a little fireplace playing with like jazz music it's so relaxing and i've been loving that i did that like this whole entire weekend it's also gloomy outside i think it's gonna be gloomy all day today and i love gloomy sundays they're just like the perfect lazy sunday like do nothing all day i love that i really want to have a lazy sunday today i don't want to do a bunch of cleaning i am going to do like a little bit of laundry and our bed sheets and all that stuff but just gonna have a chill relaxing rest of the day after that i'm gonna put on my peter thomas roth vitamin c eye patches to finish everything off i'm gonna put on some of this laneige lip mask i got this last year it's the peppermint one i love my pumpkin one but i thought i would be festive for the holidays coming up and use the peppermint one
put on this comfy little lounge set. I have on this pullover from Skims and then these bottoms are actually a set from Cozy Earth and they're like the softest material. So I feel so cozy right now. But I actually decided that I should just finally get the tree done. I still haven't decorated it. I put it up like a couple weeks ago and it's just been plain. So I'm just gonna decorate it right now. This is the little jazz playlist I have on from YouTube. I'm actually gonna see what it is because it's like so cozy if you guys want to listen to it. It's Smooth November Jazz by Cozy Coffee Shop and it's just like the cutest little picture, like animated picture and it just plays jazz music for like hours so that's what I'm gonna listen to and finally decorate the tree. I'm so excited because it's just been plain which honestly it looks really pretty plain because it has like the snow-capped branches but it's going to look so much better once it's done. much later now as you saw we just took a little target trip and I made our bed it's all nice and clean I can't wait to go to bed tonight but I picked up a few things at Target because I did like an online order and I needed to get some more chai and then we also needed an SD card for Zach's new camera that he got so I did an online order and then I was like you know what let's run into Target and I ended up getting a few throw pillows I really want to put these on the couch because we have like nothing on the couch and I feel like a nice little pillow set would look really nice and then I also got this new throw blanket as well for the couch I don't know I feel like our couch needs to like be vamped up so I got these neutral colors thought that would match really well and then I also couldn't help myself and got this Christmas candle it's called reindeer forest and it just smells like a Christmas tree and I thought the jar was really really cute and then I also picked up this floor mirror which i've been wanting to get a floor mirror for in here for so long and i was like you know what i just gotta do it now or else i never will and i really want a new place to take like mirror selfies and outfit pictures because the one in the living room zach's piano is behind it and i'm not a big fan of that being in the background of my pictures ignore the mess on my peloton this has become like my new clothing rack but yeah, so I got this new mirror. Also, I'm wearing shorts, so don't think that I'm not wearing any pants, but it's by the brand Project 62, and I think it was like $80, which is like a pretty good deal for the size floor mirror, and it just has like a silver frame, and I just thought it would be really cute. So that is everything that I got from Target. I'm gonna go set up all this stuff on the couch and see how it looks. I'm really excited because I've been wanting to get like throw pillows for the couch for like the longest time. Our couch is like really weird. It's like a day bed. So I feel like the cushions on it like already kind of look like pillows and I don't know. So I'm gonna go set this stuff up and see how the couch turns out. crazy the way i put it up in a clip it looks honestly ridiculous but i love the way the couch turned out i just showed you like a little clip of the pillows and the new blanket i don't know why i waited so long to buy pillows like it looks so much better it looks so much more cozy and like inviting to sit on rather than just like nothing on here and i also love the blanket more because I used to have like that cream colored blanket on the couch and it just like matched too well so I love like the contrast between like the darker brown and the couch but we're gonna watch some Netflix find something to watch to end off our little cozy weekend but I hope you enjoyed this vlog don't forget to subscribe to my channel Look out for new vlogs. Follow me on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so much and I will see you in my next vlog.